Hello wonderful people and welcome to the very first Let's Play for this channel. It's only fitting for me that this would be Wind Waker. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I adore the story, the atmosphere, the world it takes place in, the music, the mechanics, the side quests, just everything about it. I love it all and have a ton of nostalgia for it all. But this isn't just my channel. This is a channel for both me and my fiance, Giselle. We'll be playing games, older games that we love, and newer games which we have not yet experienced. And we, we really hope that you'll take a, on the journey into both with us. So let's go ahead and press start and get right on into it. So I went ahead and cleared off this memory card. I've actually played this game countless amounts of times. I've played I think I've played at least a seven or eight times, so this would be my eighth or ninth time playing it. I can't remember exactly. And most of those times are completing it 100%, doing most of the side quests, if not all of them. And I just have so much fun playing this game and putting all the time and effort into doing that. And I'm really, really looking forward to sharing that experience with you all. So let's go ahead and enter in a name. I'm just gonna enter in my name, Rhodes. I actually play this game just a couple months ago all the way through and while I was doing that Giselle and I were talking about it and I was just like you know the whole time I've been watching so many let's plays recently that the whole time I was playing this game I couldn't help but think of what I would say if I were to do a let's play of this so the whole time I just had things going through my head that I wanted to say as if I was doing a let's play of this so getting right into it there's a lovely little intro that we get to watch so this is but one of the legends of which the people speak Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away, and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil.
the elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Alright, so that's a bit of backstory for this game. Got a little bit of a interesting kind of look into some of the other games that came before this one. This one was quite a bit different when it came out from all the ones that came before it in, in relation to the way it's made, the way it just looks. Big Brother! So there's, uh, there's our sister running across the beach looking for us. Big Brother! I'm gonna try a few different voices because I'm not sure what she's gonna sound like. <laughs> I think uh, this was the very first Legend of Zelda game that I ever played and I think the reason I love it so much is because of that. So there we are. Really needs the telescope to look at us. I don't know about that. <laughs> we do not look pleased to be awoken. Honestly, that's a really strange place to fall asleep, though, so... We can't really... Oh, I knew you'd be here! Hmm. I don't like that one. Hehehe, <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget... Big brother, it's your birthday! That's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? Uh, apparently that's, that's the truth. We should go find out what grandma wants. I don't know if she has anything else to say. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma's waiting for you to back at the house, and I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. I don't know if we'll have time to say hello to everyone on the island, but we're definitely gonna go see Grandma. And... Whee! Blop. Okay, so, that's nice. I really like what we're wearing right now. Gotta be honest. There's actually a thing, if you def if you beat this game all the way through, you get to uh, stay dressed like this the next time you play it all the way through. It's pretty cool. I always like to do that. It's a, a good incentive to play the game all the way through, back to back. Or at least start a second game to try and beat it all the way through again, back to back, because you get to look different the entire time. Then again, and, and there is, there's some different dialogue when, uh, when you do that, just because people aren't seeing you in what you're about to be putting on. And it's quite interesting to see the difference, differences in how they, how they act towards you. So we're in, we're in grandma's house, so she's not down here though. So, uh, let's go upstairs. It's, there's not really, there's not really upstairs, it's up ladder, I guess. Oh, there she is. Nice old grandma. Well, we're gonna have to figure out a voice for her. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Let's figure this. Let's do this. I've been waiting for you, Rhodes. Rhodes. Try these on. Do we have to? Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. And we don't look too happy about that, but you got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. They kind of do. And then again, you're wearing long sleeve pants and shirt, so, you know, it's it's not really... You can't really complain. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as a young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be prepared, child. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Oh, we look pretty good. We look pretty if you just imagine someone putting that on for their birthday and walking around this walking around the town uh, I feel like uh, I feel like it wouldn't go over too well for us isn't that nice roads they suit you perfectly a perfect fit well tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party so I'd better start getting ready shouldn't I your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight mmm I just know you're looking forward to it now go get your sister Ariel 
All right, let's go get Ariel. She's probably just back there, back on the, the little lookout tower with her little spyglass waiting for us. I guess if we run into anyone on the way there, we can say hello to them. I'm sure they've got something interesting to say to us, since it is our birthday. And the fact, and because of the fact that we're wearing these ridiculous clothes. Let's see what she has to say. What's up? Oh my, Rhodes, congratulations! That elf looks cute on you! Hey, your little sister Ariel was looking for you not too long ago. Oh, did I tell you? She was watching me not too long ago, and she said she wanted to carry, learn to carry jars on her head too, so she could help your mom and grandma do chores. Hey, if you see Ariel, tell her that all she needs to do to lift a jar is stand in front of it and press A, and instead of down, she just needs to press R. Tell her, okay? Apparently Ariel is not a sentient being and is controlled as well by controllers, GameCube controllers. That's kind of creepy. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see, look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how much she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Rhodes? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert about their surroundings for you to just chug up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold R to crouch and tilt uh, the, the little uh, joystick thing to crawl slowly up behind it, slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. Well, thanks for the tip. I don't see a pig. Oh, there's the pig. Hey, pig. Let's pick you up. Let's pick you up. And in the water you go. Sorry, piggy. Have a good, nice bath, I guess. Yeah, he likes it. He's having a fun time. I don't really want to talk to this kid. That's not actually... I guess we can talk to the kid. Nope, we're not going to talk to the kid because I jumped off the stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid bridge. We'll talk to this kid, though, even though he's really annoying. Ew. So, so, so? So aren't those clothes hot? Yeah. Yeah, they are. And I'm going to run away from you now. And, oh, go away. Go away. Okay. So let's go back up to Ariel. I'm sure she's got some things to say to us. Especially now that we're wearing these clothes. Why does this have to be so tall? I like to do this when I go up this ladder. Just because there's nothing else to do. Okay. Look at all the seagulls. Okay. I don't remember what Ariel's voice sounded like, so we're just going to do something different. Ah, hey, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Rhodes, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You didn't even give us a chance to close our eyes. We got a telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to Y, Z, or X and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to do. Do it now and see what you can see. So, yeah, we're not gonna read. I'm not gonna read that every single time uh, because it's the same every time that last last little bit. But I will go through that in a second. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow it, this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking at our house over here, from here. Sorry. So yeah, like she, like the thing said, we uh, pretty much put everything. We control everything by going to the menu, and pressing Y and setting it to Y, or any of those other ones. Let's go ahead and take a look out of this thing. Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's what we were supposed to be focusing on. It doesn't really let me do anything else once I focus on him. Big brother, are you using the C stick to zoom in? Because you should be. Yep, I'm zoomed in. I see the dude. He's pretty cool looking. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Well, that's not very nice. Ah! Rhodes, the sky! Look up in the sky! Oh, crap. Wrong direction. Go. Oh! And there's the thing. There's a giant bird with a girl in its grasp, I guess. And people are hurling rocks at it. A pirate ship! Pirate ship, pirate ship, pirate ship. Yes, this game has pirates in it, which is one of my favorite things about it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I love it. They're doing a pretty good job of getting close to it. I mean, it's a, it's kind of doing some maneuvering tactics to avoid things. It kind of just screwed itself over by looking at them, though. I don't know why it just didn't keep flying, but all right. And I don't know how I, how that didn't just kill her, but I guess we'll just ignore that. Okay, let's... 
Oh, Rhodes, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Okay, so we gotta go save the girl. How we're gonna do that is a mystery to both you and I. Because Link... I mean, Link, Rhodes... I'm, well, I guess I'll just call him... I'm just gonna call him Link, because that's technically his name, even though I gave him a different name. Link has no idea what he's doing. And if he went up there, he would probably get murdered. So our grandma gave us a lovely hint that this man named Orca knows a bit about swordplay. And perhaps we can go talk to him. And I just happen just happen to know where he lives. So we can just go ahead and get... Oh, okay. What? Hoy, Rhodes, press L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. Okay. So he's teaching us L targeting. But I click L and it just kind of, kind of uh, captures onto him. Speak speak to him that's correct you're a smart one you my friend have just l targeted me you see when you press l you can target certain objects i for one use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me of course even if there isn't anything around our target you can press l to face forward you know it's quite handy indeed there are a myriad of other ways to use l targeting as well quite an ingenious little thing if i do say so myself of course, that's not the only trick in my head. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. That was some racket outside, wasn't it? Another topic entirely. Maybe it's just my age, but lately I've had a quite a hard time seeing things from a distance. All right, so we're not gonna, we're not really gonna go up and talk to him just yet. I feel like it's more important to go down here and talk to his crazy brother that likes to uh, just annoy the crap out of his, old, his other brother that lives upstairs. Uh, oop, come on, let's talk to him. I kind of skipped over the first thing he said, I'm so sorry, but... I, he's basically asking why we look so silly and why... Whatever, whatever's happened. Whatever it is, from look on her, your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Rhodes? Ah, uh, have you come for some serious instruction on the way of the sword? Yes, sir. When I usually play this game, I kind of skip through all the dialogue because I just know it all already, so I'm going to try to avoid doing that as much as possible because I like to read out everything that happens. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. All right, so we're just going to press B. There we go. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say very good. So, like, I just, you just stand here and press B. Like, if I press any anything else, he'll, like, yell at me. So, like that. I just press the forward button. And, like, you're never gonna just, you press B, you're always gonna be pressing the forward button and B. So, that's kind of silly, but we're gonna keep attacking him. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold L to target me, then press B. Alrighty. Keep swinging. And that's another thing, I almost always L target everything that I'm hitting with my sword. Just because it makes it way easier. Very good. Next is the thrust. L target, then tilt up and then press B come at me thrust with your sword let's do it good very good keep thrusting gotta hit him a few times each time oh apparently I did something wrong see if you even go slightly diagonal with it by accident and that's kind of it's kind of uh, easy to do with a with a joystick it does mess you up so next is the spin attack hold B briefly to build up your strength and release it or rotate the stick once and press B so Basically, uh, if you hit him when you do that, it kind of messes you up, so you just have to stand back for a second and then do it. Very good, more, keep it up. Like, so if I actually hit him that time, then he would have <laughs> thrust me back. Good. Next is harder, so we're basically just gonna uh, do this thing, which is a parry. Very good, and again, I'll target and watch closely for the A symbol. So, once again, I skipped over it by accident. I'm gonna get used to not doing that. Very good! Now finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword, L target, and press A. You got it. And jump! Come at me once more. So this one's the, like, if you actually look at the top right, then it actually tells you that you can jump when you do this, so... That was a fine display. Great, thank you. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Rhodes. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Why, thank you very much. It is very helpful to have this. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the old, the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. A kind old man gave us a sharp, pointy 
weapon in which to kill things. It's very responsible of him. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with a desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Rhodes. Oh, I'll do my best. And let's bow to him. Give him a little bow. And a lovely gong sounds off. And that happens every time we talk to him. So before we leave, let's just go ahead and destroy every single pot he owns. Just because we can. I mean, that's a must to do in every, every Legend of Zelda game. You can possibly do it in. There we go. Oh, and one more thing. And there we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and leave. We've gotten our sword. We can go out and rescue the girl that has fallen into the woods. And uh, it's pretty easy to get up to the woods. We got we basically got to see exactly where she fell. So we just gotta go up this little uh, this little cliff here and find a way to get across. And hopefully we don't have any problems. I gotta stop falling off that stupid bridge. It's whatever. This kid is gonna keep chasing us. Every time we go by him, he's gonna chase us. He is kind of a pain in the butt, if I'm being completely honest. I really wish I could swim out to the pirate ship right now, but we cannot. We will have enc more encounters with the pirate ship at some point. Just so you know. Okay, let's go ahead and knock down everything. We can pretty much cut down anything we want to with this. I like to cut down on the grass. Don't necessarily need to do that though, because there's nothing in it at this point. At other points in the game, there might be something in there. But right now, there's nothing really for us to collect, except for maybe rupees. Which is, uh, we don't really need them yet. I don't think they necessarily show up yet. So, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and cross this bridge. And try not to fall off like I've been doing down there. Like a doofus. Okay, he just jumps by himself. <laughs> Apparently I can't walk in straight lines. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and go into the cave. Now, in here, we get to encounter some interesting new things that we have yet to encounter. Oh, she fell on the tree branch. So I guess that's pretty lucky for her, because, and I, I mean, I'm sure it would have, in real life, actually ripped her clothes and, like, she would have just kept on falling and probably would have died still, but perhaps not. Perhaps it's really realistic, but don't necessarily need to think about that. It's really hard habit to break to get out of cutting the grass all the time. Oh, we can go in here. Oop, I don't know if you see that, but there's a hole in here. Looks like there's something in here. Yep. Come on, stop climbing. We want to crouch. Let's uh, let's go around. Let's go around. Oh, there's a red rupee in here. Great. We got our first rupees. And the red one's worth 20. So that's great. Oh, and we just kind of awoke this uh, this dude over here. He's a bookoblin. We're going to kick the crap out of him. He doesn't really have anything to defend himself with, which I just noticed. Never really noticed that before. We killed him in four hits. Not bad. And we got another green rupee. So that's just one. We're going to jump up here. I think we have to defeat one more thing before we can actually save her. There's nothing that we can do with that rock over there just yet. So we're just going to go ahead and ignore it. Jump down. Oh! Yep. Yep, two more. Two more of these things. They're, they're defenseless though, basically. I mean, they can't really do anything. They can hit us with their fists, I guess, but they're pretty lame. That one's dead. And this one just needs one more hit, I think. Yep. Yep, and more re green rupees. I think I can... Okay, yeah. I, I'm glad I got that one, because I'm pretty sure once I once I defeat both of them, I can't get anything if they leave, because of the cutscene. She's really struggling with that. <laughs> now, how did that not happen when she originally fell into the tree from a really big distance? Ouch! And she thinks we look like a freak. Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. The giant bird came in. Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness! You're safe! When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Okay, so we went ahead and got her. She's not too uh, grateful for it. 
but oh, oh no. Big brother! No, Ariel. Why'd you come up here? Who said this was safe? You just saw a bird drop a girl in the middle of the forest. You shouldn't be up here. I love how we always see sequels following her. Oh. Oh, I love this this angle like they shoot that at, but like it's so bad. No, they took Ariel. I like like seeing from the perspective of the bird, but brother! Oh, and we're we're just gonna jump off the cliff after her. Oh, thanks. That's ugh, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. Good thing she was there, I guess. Well, we saved her and she saved us. I mean, she fell from a pretty high distance, so I'm not sure that anything would have happened to us if we fell that high, but... That's still good. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates! You know, pirates! The terror of the seas! What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache! I know how you must feel, with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? I'm back. The postman is back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just who are you? And where do you get off butting in on someone's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard that? Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes befall me, unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why I grabbed her. Dot, 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 dot. So if she has nothing to say to that, because it's the truth. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Rhodes here who saved you from the monsters in that forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it... I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Rhodes' sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Rhodes a little help now, would it? Hmm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there without nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you can use as a shield, you know, something to protect yourself with, anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing, once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you still have a chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Well, that's very nice of you. Thanks, thanks for the consideration. Okay, so we kind of already, uh, kind of already established what we're supposed to do next because when we talked to Grandma earlier, not only did she give us the tip about Orca and swordplay, she uh, she showed us the lovely family shield that we have on our wall. So let's just go ahead and take that real quick because we need it in order to go save Ariel. Let's talk to Grandma. What is it, Rhodes? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Ariel? Is she still playing outside with the goals? Not quite, Grandma. Not quite. Sorry to break it to you. Oh, and the shield's gone. Not so great. Uh, okay. What are we? Okay, I guess we're just gonna leave. Oh no. Grandma has something to say to us. Roads. Is this what you're looking for? Hmm, she took the shield. She knew we'd need it. But she's smiling. She wants us to do something with it. Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. 
<laughs> I love that it just shows him, like, doing his strike a pose move right there. I guess it is true. Ariel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Oh, Link, comfort your grandma. Don't just stare off into the side like that. Let's comfort grandma. What does she have to say? Oh, Ariel. Oh, that's not very helpful. Link, you're, you're, you're a crappy grandson. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. All right, let's go ahead and talk to the pirates again. Now that we've got a shield, they better let us onto their ship. Because all I want in life is to be a pirate. Let's go ahead and... Okay. I think all we have to do is just talk to her. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. So we're about to set sail with the pirates. I love being on the pirate ship. There isn't a whole lot to do on it, but it is rather fun to just be on a pirate ship in general. It's a great send-off. All the people of the island, all five of them, six of them, I guess, are hanging out to watch us go. Good luck finding Ariel! Take care of yourself! And he's just so sad waving goodbye. The only person missing is... His grandma. So all seven on the people on the island are watching him go. Oh. It's okay, Link. We'll be back. We'll be back sometime. Ugh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an, do you have an estimate? Very sensitive. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? He's determined. See that look on his face? He is not going back until he has his sister. Well, at least he's not going to let them know that. He, he has any sort of feelings about it one way or the other. He's got to put on a strong face for the captain and her crew. But anyway, guys, that's, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am definitely enjoying it already. I love this game so much. This is, my, like I said, one of my favorite games of all time. And I'm really glad I'm going to share it with you. Please stick around for the next episode. There should be an episode out every single day from here on out until the game is done and completed. Not sure how many episodes that'll be, but it'll be quite a lot. Because this is quite a long game and we're going to be doing 100% of it. We're going to be doing everything that we can all the different side quests and stuff, because that is just my favorite way to play it. I love exploring every single bit of the ocean that we can, and every single bit of every island that we can. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in part two of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker.